And a warm welcome on what is an ideal night for football, you've got to say. I'm Derek Ray, and sharing commentary with me, as usual, is Stuart Robson, and getting ready for a potentially thrilling contest. Every reason to believe this will be exciting, Stuart. Thanks, Derek. Well, both managers will be reminding their players of starting the game quickly, pinning the opposition back, playing the ball forward, and regaining possession as quickly as possible. Hopefully, we get a really good game here. And the lineup for the home side. Well, they should be hard to break down because they're set up to defend in numbers. But it's important they don't leave the front too isolated. Otherwise, it's going to be difficult to counter-attack. This is the lineup for the visitors today. Well, the wingers will be key here. They have to choose the right time to give width and the right time to come infield to support the centre forward. If they can do that, they're a potent front three. No doubt about that. And so the battle commences. Galanopoulos. It's with Araujo. In a position from which they could potentially do a bit of damage here. He could pick out a teammate. Oh, good use of the ball. Superb save. Well, he should score, of course, but that's a brilliant save. Playing it short. He cuts it back. Well, tremendous block. And he saw the situation developing. It has gone over the touchline for what will be a... Petros Mantalos. Now, let's see what they can do here. A chance to whip it in. Still passing it around with authority. Well, honestly, I didn't mean to jinx them. Just wasn't a very good pass, finally. They need to get tighter here. Might be able to produce from this position. On a pass that lacks quality. Jorios Tzavelas. Zuber setting off perhaps a little bit too much here oh super piece of play oh yes 1-0 it is 
And it doesn't come as a huge surprise. Well, here's the replay, and you just have to admire the patience of the passing as they look for that defence-splitting ball. And then the shot could not be hit any better. Struck with such venom. Great goal. One nil then. Well, getting very close to the half time interval, and it's a narrow lead for the visitors to this point. Stuart, how would you assess what we've seen? Well, they've worked hard and played well to be in front here, but they now need to keep their focus as we approach half time. Petros Mantalos. It's with Araujo. Can they hit on the break? Well, not hard to read that pass. Sergio Araujo. Now potential danger. Well, he had the confidence to try his luck and denied only by the post. Well, the keeper was beaten. He hit it so cleanly. It's just the wrong side of the post. And options in the centre. Making sure nothing came of it. And so it is, the first half story has been written. You certainly have got to give this man high marks for his work up to this point, Stuart. Well, I thought he had a really effective first half. Not only did he get the goal that gave them the lead, but his general play was really good. He was a constant threat, and I'm sure we'll see more of him in the second half. The two teams have switched around and are ready now for the second half. Zuber. Mantalos. It's with Araujo. Amrabat. Petros Mantalos. chance here and read the danger magnificently well if he gets this wrong a penalty and a sending off but he was spot on with his challenge into the advanced position showing patience looking for the equalizer has someone to play it to Giorgios Zavellas. Petros Mantalos. Spraying passes around, almost waiting for the opposition to make a mistake. It's neat passing, confidence on the ball. Must score! There it is! Two to the good now, and that gives them a buffer. Well, let's look at the replay. They moved the ball so well, just waiting for an opening. And from there, he never looked like missing. That's a lovely goal. So, 2-0 now.
strong play here. Vili Taya. And the quality of pass needs to be a bit better. Well, as you can see, the visitors have had most of the ball and as a result have dominated the game. Some of their passing movements have been a joy to watch and I don't think anything's going to change that. He has time to play us over. Well, great read there to intercept. Now a decent position. Another goal! And surely there's no way they can throw this away. Absolutely dominant. Well, here's the replay, and he shows great awareness to play this through ball. And when he gets onto it, he decides to go for power. It's a really emphatic finish, which gives the keeper no chance. It's a massive lead, and it's very hard to imagine them losing it now. And that's an important intervention. And it's a matter of what occurs in the final 15 minutes. Amrabat. It's with Araujo. He could pick out a teammate. That's a great stop. Well, his reflexes are so good there. That's a fantastic stop. Well, they've been getting the substitute ready and now they will make the personnel change. Corner kick played in. Just far too close to the goalkeeper. Not much defensive cover there on the flank. Chance to cross. And he read it well. Galanopoulos. Inside the final five minutes now. And Garcia with it. Well, just couldn't keep the ball. Good looking sequence. Clément Michelin. Can he put it away? Vital intervention. Well, possibilities in the centre. Struggling to get it away. And so the final whistle here. The visitors come out on top, Stuart. Well, Derek, it was a very assured performance, wasn't it? Particularly impressed with their play going forward. Really lively and almost cutting through at will at times. The result never much in doubt, if I'm honest. But it just seems that this game, he's been a step ahead of his opponents in every way, Stuart. Well, I thought his all-round game was excellent. It was his ability to find space that impressed me most. And with a bit more luck, he could have had a second one today.